Dear trainers, today we have some very important tips to help you make the best out of your trainings. You are free to stop this video at any point to discuss the points that are being raised with your fellow trainers. Tip number one, know your participants before, during and after the training. Before training, make sure you do a training needs assessment. Always adapt your training to the environment you are working with. Pay attention to the language you use, the number of participants, their literacy level, their gender, any mobility issues, and also where the training is taking place. The learning environment must be conducive to adult learning. During the training, always observe if participants are engaged and follow them up. Ask questions, make everybody active and stimulate those who may be more silent. Involve everyone. Our one is understanding their businesses. At times prior to the training, once during the marketing, you can ask uh, visiting their businesses uh, to know uh, what they actually do, the, the type of businesses. Then also to prepare myself in terms of their, 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 their business challenges. Then during the training, maybe understanding their basic uh, business operations. That is after the sessions or during lunch. Those face-to-face -face interactions are critical. That's when they ask questions, how can I do it on my own? And then you can address those on a personal basis during those uh, break teas, very important. After the training, keep in touch. Follow up to see if they struggle with something in particular. To me it is important to see that business change down the road after the training. So what I, usually, I would usually do is to follow up in some form of mentoring session. I actually visit after the, the training. So to me, if there is some change in the business, it has grown, it has improved, they've, some of them have started, others have changed, to me they've made a mark. I'll be happy with that. Tip number two, prepare, prepare, and prepare. When it comes to content, Never underestimate the time it takes to prepare a training. Make sure that before a training or a session, you have planned out all your handouts, your flip charts, the materials you need, and the activities you plan to carry out. Also, don't forget that you might find yourself without electricity or internet. Think of alternatives. Always be prepared as a trainer. For the first time trainers, Writing on a flip chart may be a bit difficult. You can either write smaller letters going down, but you need to improvise and to start writing, practicing. Every time you can practice even at your home how you are going to stand. If you have um, people around you at home, practice the training. Think of the best layout for your room for the day's activities. For example, you could put your flip charts in chronological order around the room. Be creative. When it comes to evaluations, don't forget to take daily evaluations. This will help you to see how things are going and what you might need to reinforce or change the following day. Make sure you ask for final evaluations for the training at the end of the training. Why all this, you may ask? Because it will help you do a better job. It will help you when you are reporting back. And on the other hand, it will help you clearly show what great work you have done. Tip number three, we all have learning preferences. Make sure that you tailor to all of them at some point during your training. Remember, not everyone learns in the same way. Some people learn better by seeing, others by hearing, and yet others by doing. In many cases, it is a combination of all the three visual, audio, and experiential. Get Ahead training has all three, but just don't forget it. And if you see that your participants don't seem to understand by using one mechanism, try another. Tell it, demonstrate it, or use an exercise. 
if you are able to adapt to everyone's learning style, everyone will learn better. When you are training, you have to capture the participants' attention to let them understand really what you are talking about and also for them to give you what they are thinking, their views. Because when you don't use these techniques, you can have a dialogue class, like you can be lecturing to yourself. Tip number four, state expectations, objectives and goals clearly and keep coming back to these. Start the day, the session or the activity by stating the objectives of the training. More importantly, keep coming back to these objectives regularly during the session. Make sure that you have been reached and that lessons have been understood. For every activity, take time for drawing out with participants key messages and lessons learned. Tip number five, if one module or topic is giving you some problems, go and seek some help. You are not expected to know everything. You have the resources to support you. Contact your peers, your fellow Get Ahead trainers, or other resource persons. You may need an accountant for reference. You may need an academician or an entrepreneur. All this reinforces your training. Me, I'm a trainer for over, like over 13 years. Uh, to new trainers, you need to be, first of all, confident of yourself. Another one is being assertive. Don't fear, don't panic. I know normally they are young trainers and you are going to train like your mothers or fathers or whatever big people. And you are like, wow, am I going to manage this group? Yes, you can manage. And the only thing is learn, understand what is the content, what are you going to give to the people. Understand the content, understand the different methods of training. Indeed, you will make it if you are a first-time trainer. All of the advices and also think for mentorship. We have master trainers around who normally come around to supervise us and say, please, improve here. Tip number six. If a module or topic is too complex, try breaking it down as much as possible and adapt the language or the exercise as much as possible. Use pictures, pair those who seem to understand quicker with those who are facing more challenges. Tip number seven. Remember, you are a facilitator of learning. You should not be the only one talking. Participants should be doing most of the talking and the doing. You are a facilitator, remember that. This learning environment is for everyone. So make sure all have the chance and opportunity to speak. Try to limit those who may take over discussions. Tip number eight, women learn from other women in your training room remember that you have people with years of experience each participant has experiences has practices has knowledge they might just not have been able to think about it let the women share the experiences and link topics and lessons what they have learned with their own practices and realities people learn better when they can relate to what is being taught. That is why in Get Ahead, we use experiential learning. Tip number nine. Remember to revisit the Get Ahead manual again, again, and again. Don't forget, always have at hand your copy of the Get Ahead manual. Read it. There is a lot of information and tips there. You might identify some new tips every time you read it. Asante sana. Thank you for watching this video and wish you good luck in your training.